I'm Megan. I'm Adam. Hey, Hollywood Outbreak. Hi, Hollywood Outbreak. Hey. I love the cover. I was it was such an honor to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. I was like, wait, I'm just a I'm I'm the new kid on the block. I are you sure? You know? Um, and they were like, yeah, you're gonna be on the cover. I'm like, okay, so who with? They said, oh, it's just you. Said, it's just me. What? <laughs> it was crazy. It was really it, it's really exciting, and it was it was quite an honor. That snake made me really nervous. Yeah, it was a, a real ball python resting on my crotch. You know, um, <laughs> pretty intense. I, it's pretty funny to me because it's, it, I've been living my life the same way for the past, you know, 10 years. Um, it was funny because no one actually ever came out and just asked me the question. It was just a bunch of people talking and guessing and about it. And so, uh, you know, if it hadn't been so discussed and talked about, I probably would have just left it alone. But at some point after the show, I just felt like, okay, I just need to just set the record straight and talk about everything in my life and just be completely honest. And it felt really, really good to do so. Yeah, I mean, I have a ton of freedom with this record coming out in the fall. Um, you know, I think there's this this weird misconception that, that if you get signed through American Idol that they own you or that they're, you know, puppet masters. And none of that seems to be true in my situation. Um, they're very, very open to my ideas and who I want to work with and the type of music I want to make. Um, it's going to be kind of a blend of, of, you know, the things that make classic rock so wonderful, but also blending that with, with music that's today and modern and current and fresh. Um, it's going to be something something else. I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm going to have my own take on it because it's original music. It's something that people haven't heard before. Um, it, and it, it is a particular challenge because on the show, you find songs that people already love that they recognize, and then you put a spin on them. With this, it's like, well, I have to create something from scratch. Um, and, I, and I'm lucky that I'm working with such amazing producers and writers to help me do that.